Now, not everything needs to be an entity. Uh, there are many things that could work as a value object. A great example of a value object is a moment in time. This can comprise of a date, which contains a day, a month, and a year in most calendars. And also a time, which also contains multiple things, like the hour, the minute, and the second. And depending on what you're working on, on which moment in time you're working, you may also need a time zone, for instance. Now, another uh, interesting value object could be a person's name. The name may have a first name and a last name, but there may also be an infix in between the first name and the last name. And some people may actually have a title that is part of their name, such as Sir Ian McKellen. If you use value objects for concepts like these, it makes it a whole lot easier in your business logic to always have the same information readily available.